Can we talk about Tesla real quick? Absolutely. Um, Tesla, Tesla. I, I pulled it on Instagram today that Elon Musk is, is rumors that's been swirling around for a while now. It's like the worst kept secret that um, they are rolling out their million mile battery that's on crazy. September 22nd. So that's after gonna, witching. Yeah, after yeah. the 18th. Yeah. <laughs> so million million mile battery. So <clears throat> you know. A lot of people are very excited about that, obviously, for a yeah. variety of different reasons. So, but um, you know, it's more than just that. That, that is going to be more than probably just that. Like, you know, I was talking to Mark today. Shout out to Mark, and he was saying, like, you know, at the 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 press conference, or they're going to talk more probably about autonomous driving. I was just going to say that. Um, robo taxis. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, all of that plays a part. Self driving cars, things of that nature. So it's like, all right, the the million mile battery is not really that, like crazy because it's they're almost there now and it's like it's already kind of expected it's not really going to change like you know what i'm saying like but full i think self-driving technology and we have to talk about self-driving technology at some point on this show because we actually did a podcast about this last year with waymo mm -hmm. so um waymo is Google. Google, is google's self-driving car technology and um uber um sued google because um they actually took their technology uber was working on it first and then Waymo, Google actually um, recruited, this is like some real espionage. They recruited um, Uber's um, top. So what happened is that the CEO of Uber and Google became really good friends. And it, all the whole time they was planning on taking their technology. So they recruited their top um, engineers over to Google. And then they started a side company called Waymo, which is Google's self-driving car technology. A lot of people don't even know Google had a self-driving car technology company. Um, and now Google actually sued them and, and they won. They already settled out of court for uh, like a lot of money. Um, but self-driving car technology is real. It's not something that is like, they already have the technology now. It's just mm -hmm. not legal. They got to pass it. But I think this is something that people need to pay attention to. It's not like a fantasy movie. It's not the Jetsons. Like very soon, we're going to be having cars that drive themselves. Yeah. And Dri very soon, we're not going to be driving cars no yeah, more. Yeah, that's why I said. It's going to be more than just the car that parks itself. It's going to be the car that picks you up from your house drops you off, goes back home, and you order it to come back to come get you. Like, really, the Jetsons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Spacey Sprockets for all my 80s babies. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, how do, how, how, do you, how do you feel about that, um, Ian? Tesla, the, the 22nd, the, the million mile battery, how do how you feel about all that? Um, you know, I love Tesla. Do you think that they're actually going to hit the number, or do you think it'll be like 985,000 miles? <laughs> I think it's going to be 1.2 million. I think he's going to over exceed. He's going to yeah. over, you know, over? no, Eli, oh, he yeah. always over, he's going to over 1.2. I, I read something actually where it said it's going to be, it's actually 1.2 million miles. If they can deliver that, and I've already said this before, Tesla has no competition. You may have other electronic vehicle makers, but you guys got to realize that in Washington, also, they're doing all right in solar. Um, but just from a brand perspective, the, the brand is worth more than every everyone else in the space combined. But if they hit 1.2 and have any other rollouts, I mean, my target for Tesla is still a grand. Like, they have a lot of room to go. I always said he is this generation Steve Jobs. That million mile battery is kind of like when iPad had the 100,000 songs in your pocket. So I'm seeing like the same monikers and the same kind of structure lining up. I think they have a very good chance. Um, and I think they'll probably would be one of the most dominant companies of this decade. And yeah. I, I just want to say one last thing before we go back to the question. So I already know the question is going to be, should we buy calls <laughs> on Tesla leading up to September 22nd? Because yeah. people will be excited. The thing about it, and one of the favorite, my favorite quotes of all time from our podcast was um, Big Business. When he said he was talking about real estate and he was talking about a lot of people that's buying real estate and they, um, they're taking equity out the homes and they're using that equity to buy other homes. And his whole thing was for every four houses that you do that, you need to pay a house off in full because you're over leveraging yourself. And his thing is like, it's not even so much as what if the real estate market goes bad? What if the economy goes bad? He said that in February mm -hmm. before Corona. Like what if the economy tanks? So the problem with all these short-term option plays is that even if you put together the best strategy and you're going off of good news, and charts look good. What if the economy tanks? Like, what if the economy falls apart, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like, you have to be very careful with the short-term option plays just based off of good news. Because A, it's still a guessing game. Because what if they come out and it's only 700,000 miles? Or what if it doesn't, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Now you're screwed. It's the same thing with people playing earning calls. And then B, it's like, with the short-term option plays, or just short-term investing, period, 
you have to take that in case. Like, what if the economy falls apart? Everything could be going good. If we get something like what happened in March, it doesn't matter. Everything oh, yeah. is going to go oh, down yeah. regardless. So it's yeah. just something not to say that you can't make money in short term options. You can definitely make a lot of money in short term option plays, but just be careful. Be very the careful. Thing that you need the most is time. You guys are trying to get in for a week or two. You're much even and the calls are expensive. The stock yeah. is expensive, but it's like if you're trying to make a good move and you don't have pre existing discipline there, you're not going to hit a home run doing that. Like leave yeah. earnings alone. Cause like even Apple, Apple fell a lot from Thursday and Friday. Did the value of Apple drop? Did the sales drop? No. Just the the economy has not recovered yet. I'm going and a lot of you complain about the dollar falling and quantitative easing. We would be in the walking dead if they didn't print that money. Mm -hmm. Like we would have been in full on like you guys think it's bad now. If they let that fall to fifteen thousand where it's supposed to go, it would have been hell on earth. So and now we robbed Peter to pay Paul for so long. We have to keep it like kind of like when certain record labels is buying albums and saying artists is going, you know, uh, selling two hundred fifty thousand the first week, and then no one was playing the album out on the streets back in the day. It's the same thing. But they have to continue to print that money in order to give us some leeway for uh, people to want to put their money in the. Because if the engine that is the market stops, we're going to go to utter devastation. And we don't want that. So no. please be careful with any short term investment and just hold them for long. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, I forget who it was in the investment group. He had put up a graphic of all these these uh, calls that had just gone bad. They were all red. And they, was, uh, they posed a the question like, what, what's wrong with this picture? And every one of them was a short term call. So that's why we said, man, always give yourself time. Always give yourself time. Please give yourself time. Especially a lot of us are new in this options game. Doing these short term ones, it, it it can hurt. It can hurt when it goes bad. South Bank got drugged the other day. <laughs> Yo, crazy. Because the sun is trading and he's he's in calls and they're good. But when the market fell, they hadn't capitalized. So 41 million he lost, right? 41 million. Down 7%. This is why I tell you guys, you have to know what your percentage is. When you get to this mark, I have to take profit. When Rashad was like, hey, nothing wrong with taking profit. I'm like, that comes from experience. That's a that family. comes from having a loss. Like. It may not seem like, and I know you guys are seeing people making two, three hundred percent, but they're not telling you when they're drawing down eighty percent either. If you can consistently hit between twenty-five and fifty percent, you are killing the market. Be patient, please. Be patient. Yeah, that's a fact. Shout, shout out to uh, Jay Bass on the super share. He said, "Shout out to the it was written vinyl in the back and the blueprint one too." <laughs> that's, a, that's a fact. My graduates from my school being Forbes backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>